Ah, oh, he didn't. He's smart. He didn't fall for the bait. I guess he's gonna make SP Little Knight to banish my institution. Let's go ahead and use this now then. Just to be safe. Let's see. I could normal summon Baby Jackal, which he can't link off with. He can only link off with Astrograph. But then again, I don't have a way to get three spell counters on just Servant anymore, which is annoying. But let's do what we can. Yep, that's exactly what he's going for. Probably gonna uh, link off with Master Cerberus and then banish my institution. Yep. Dang, bro, dropping more gift subs. Does that mean his Unchained card is dead now, though? I'm guessing he's gonna SP, banish my institution. And then, you know, whenever I activate anything, banish my other monster. This is unfortunate. Because I don't have a high skill. If I had a high skill, this wouldn't be as big of an issue. But again, I'm bricked for the most part. Yep, permanently banishing Astrograph. It's whatever. And the moment I activate anything, SP can banish. Might as well do this to uh, force out the Appaloosa, but I'm literally left with nothing. Bro coming in with all the gifted subs. Appreciate it a lot, bro. Appaloosa negate. Yeah, I have nothing. I literally have nothing. But I didn't activate into the void or anything, so... For the most part, I should be fine. I could scale these, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna set Call by the Grave and pass. Because that's all I can do. Like, I think with uh, the Unchained Trap, he needs to use an Unchained Monster. Yep, opening of the Spirit Gates, whatever. I definitely want to try holding this call by the grave for either Phantom or Spirit. But he needs another Ubel monster in the hand. 
All right, there's D Lotus. I could, I could call by D Lotus. I yeah, I think I can D Lotus this or call by D Lotus. I hope this is a good called by target. He has something else. Well, it could just be SP. Chaos Summoning Beast again, I'm assuming. That's all he can really summon. I'm just gonna make a Link 4. Pop my... make a Unicorn, spin back my Institution, what? Link summoning Muckraker. Okay, so that's how he gets his uh That's how he gets his unchained stuff back live. Muckraker can reborn uh Rage, which is annoying. I need a really good top deck here. Spell Power Mastery would be great. And Dimion, it's eh. The thing is, the trap is now live to uh, pop my back row, which is going to be something I really got to bait here. But I don't know how to bait it, unfortunately. Like I could try to go for additional draw or I like, like Garuda force it out. Like I could try to go for an additional draw. I think I might have to, this hand is not good. I think I have to go for an additional draw. Well, I have two scales, so I can Pendulum Summon two from the extra deck. But again, I would need, like, you know, two Jackal Kings out on the field, which I currently don't have. To be able to do that. Let's return the Baby Jackal, because I want to be able to Pendulum Summon that Jackal King in my extra deck. Magister? I don't know, maybe I can go to battle, attack over the freaking Appaloosa. But it doesn't do much right now. I think I definitely want to scale Servant. This is this activates at any point. I'm trying to think, what's a good scale here? Because if I try to activate Endymion, he just activates the trap, pops my Endymion. In which case, I can probably just Pendulum Summon it back out. I think that's what I can do. If he does pop it with Rage, I could just scale Magister, Pendulum Summon it back out. 
Had to summon Jackal King and Endymion. Force him to use it. And that gets rid of Muckraker, which is fine. Ah, uh, but he can still link off with my monsters because of Rage. Rage can still link off with my monsters. Forgot that he protected with Muckraker. Yeah. Let's go in Dimion, Jackal King, and Reflection. I don't think I want to activate this here. If only I had one more spell counter for Jackal King, but then he would have Appaloosa to negate as well. Yeah, that's only if I activate an effect. So I just don't activate. Yep. So he makes a link three. Linking off with my Jackal King. Okay. Anguish can only activate during its own turn. Let's see what I can do main phase two. All right, let's see. Do I have any, I still have another Endymion in my deck as well as more Jackal Kings. I just hope I'm not gonna mess this up. Because Rage can uh, link off during his own turn, so I think it's better off for me to just get rid of... to try to see what I can do here. Right, I can't, because I forgot my Astrograph is banished. What can I put in? Uh, Jackal King, I guess, works. If I can just draw into an activatable spell that's not into the void or something. So to have my normal summon at least. Holy crap, that works. That absolutely works. Let's go. What does he have in his grave that he could reborn? I think I'll summon an Endymion here still. Jackal King. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'll read it in a bit. Uh, 
I'm right now. I gotta really focus. Target a fiend in the grave and add it to his hand. But I can just banish it with Master Cerberus. That's always an option. Uh, let's just move all the ones off of this one just for aesthetic reasons. Uh, I'm going to grab me a baby jackal here and scale it just for the extra spell counter on Selene. I just got to really go here. And let's put spell counters on to something. On the institution, don't matter. Okay. Hey, yeah, you're interested in the deck, but it looks hard to get into. A lot of deck looks as easy. Don't use hand traps. Any tips? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much as you said. The deck is... It takes a bit of learning to get to. The deck doesn't run hand traps because it doesn't really have the room to run hand traps. You would much rather have those hand trap slots be additional draw cards and additional spells to get you spell counters. Adding hand traps to this deck essentially just bricks it more. So instead of adding hand traps, you just want your draw spells. This can only activate once per turn, right? So if he tries to activate opening the spear gates, I will negate. No two. Oh, I guess, I guess it's because... Yeah, well, again, I haven't Demion to negate the other one. Excuse me. It just says he can only activate one, meaning he, only, he can only place one on the field once per turn. I'm saving that one. I'm saving that one. I overcame that with like a poor hand. I'm definitely saving that one. Whew. Honestly, you know what's funny? His Appaloosa saved me there because it allowed me to summon both Endymion and Jackal King from my extra deck. If he didn't have that Appaloosa up, I don't think I could have won that. First coin toss victory. We're an hour and 18 minutes into the stream, and this is the first coin toss I've won. All right, opening Citadel. I would definitely rather my Spell Power Master get Ash here, but obviously I would rather Scout for Ash with Upstart. No Ash and Institution? Holy crap. Alright, so I already have my three for Servant. I think I can just go ahead and summon a Jackal King from the deck.
This will check for Imperm Revealer. All right, he has neither from the looks of it. Three. Okay, yeah, he just gives up after that. I was going to see if I could search my Endymion here before making Electromite. Oh, man. Still, though, that U-Bell duel was definitely the most intense one so far. Baby Jackal, Maxi Draw Phase. Just built a mil bully to mill out deck. Nice. This will check for Imperm, Valor, and all that stuff. All right, he has a response. More than likely, Maxi. Well, uh, we beat the Ubel player. Thankfully, we had enough follow up to beat the U-Bell player and make them surrender. Uh, last duel, my opponent just surrendered. Valoring immediately, okay. So Baby Jackal won't get any spell counters, but there's another delay. He has another response, meaning it's more than likely Maxi. If his field lights up again, he has a Maxi. He has Maxi. Watch me draw a call by the grave next. Institution, all right. Since I have Institution along with my Master Cerberus, I think going for here, I think I have to go uh, Spell Power Master here to see if he has Ash as well. No Ash, okay. So I did miss out on the chance to, you know, uh, to you know, get three spell counters on Servant, but I had to scout for the Ash. I, I just had to. Because if my Master Cerberus would have gotten uh, Ashed, I would have been in a pretty poor spot. And since I use my normal summon, I might as well go for the Jackal King. Hey, it's all work. It's all good, Billy. Yeah, things are going okay. Normally, I don't like playing under Maxi, but at this point, I pretty much have to with this hand. And just hope it works out. No Imperm Revealer yet. Hopefully he doesn't draw it by the time I uh, want to summon Astrograph. All right, not yet. I do got to worry about Nibiru and whatnot because I still don't have a way to summon a Jackal King, at least until I activate Servant. If I even can, I need a spell card. I need to activate a spell card that's not into the void or another spell power mastery. You heard that Maxi getting banned? Well, it's not getting banned yet, but you know, it's now actually a possibility. It got limited to two in the OCG ban list. 
that's what happened. They got limited to two in the OCG ban list. So, you know, it means it's it could definitely potentially get hit. Of course I don't. Uh, okay. That's fine, that's fine. I can make this work still. I can still summon a Jackal King with Servant here. I just gotta hope he doesn't draw one, like, right now. An Imperm. Hope he doesn't draw, like, an Imperm or Veiler here, or Nibiru. Alright, no response. All right, cool. Should be fine. Not gonna summon the Garuda. Yo, how's it going? And Demion effect then servant, true. Uh, I'm currently level 19. Yeah, I guess I can forego making the uh, Absolute and Vortex. Give him a couple less draws, you know? And in this case, I can pop my Astrograph in this case. Just to give him a couple less draws, he'll get like only one more draw now. And then I guess I'll grab a baby jackal here. That way I can put a spell counter onto this Endymion. Uh, let's just grab the one from the extra deck. So I'll definitely be summoning another Jackal King from the extra deck now. And then use this baby Jackal to put a spell counter onto my other Endymion. And if I need to, I can use... And if I don't really have the room, I can just use a uh, Servant to discard the Garuda in my hand. I'm expecting to get like super polyed or droplet or something. I'm expecting like a droplet, send, fucking six, negate everything. Okay, it's probably Snake Eyes Fire King. No need to negate a bonfire. How much, can, how much can I disrupt Snake Eyes Fire King with this build? I gotta see how much I can disrupt here. That's fine, I will negate Poplar. I feel like I can safely negate a Poplar because I don't want him setting up any spell or traps. And before you know, he just normal summons Ash again. I don't want him, you know, grabbing a subversion or something. I don't know. To try to force out one of my Endymions early. And then I'll just have this uh, Endymion bound to Jackal King just in case. I think in this case I can bounce another Jackal King. Especially against if it's against Snake Eyes, I think bouncing Jackal King to summon it back out is a better idea. Mm, 
Yep, Fire King. This card is normal special summoned. Does this thing have an effect when it's destroyed? Destroy one fire in your hand. Uh, I'll let that resolve. Kieran is the one I need to uh, negate. You can use Garuda to bounce Garunix, yeah. Arvata. Ponyx, that's fine. Fortunately, Arvata doesn't have anything to, uh, you know. I'm definitely negating his field spell, for sure. I'll use the I'll use Endymion to bounce the Jackal King to negate the field spell or the Sanctuary. So I'm definitely negating the Sanctuary. Because it places, it doesn't activate. And then I'm going to resummon this Jackal King. playing with letters, yeah. I mean, I could be at risk of getting hit by uh, Kurikara, but hopefully I should be fine. Maxi, draw one, whatever. see. He still has plays to make. He hasn't even normal summoned yet. Destroy one fire and field. And if you do, in your hand or face up field, add one fire from deck to hand. This card's destroyed. Special summon Garunix from deck. Sacred Fire King Garunix. I think I want to negate this one. And if he summons a Garunix, I should hopefully be fine. I just don't want him getting access to Kieran. Well, I don't have a way to reborn my Jackal and Grave. Well, I could have, but you know, I, I would, it would be susceptible to a call by the grave at that point. That's the thing. I'm also trying to play around call by the grave. And the next Endymion negate I use, I'll bounce servant. That way my Garuda will be able to bounce a card. Ah, he's going to force me to use my other Jackal King. He's going to force me to use it here. So he can commit to his plays. He's forcing me to use my Jackal King.
And now I can summon two because it was destroyed while I had material, which is annoying. So all I have left now is one in Demion Negate. And if I can resolve that successfully, I have Garuda as well. So I guess now I can... Well, I'm going to keep my toggle set to uh, on for the time being. Just in case I truly need the extra spell counters. But they already both activated, so... And Arvada is not negated either. Ah, damn it. Of course he still had the original Sinful. Of course he still had original Sinful in his hand. Better to at least force it out so my servant doesn't get negated. Well, since I can't bounce, I might as well put the extra spell counters on my field. Since I can't, uh... Since I'm not going to be able to use Garuda now. That's fine. See, I see, that's what I'm saying. If I would have tricked him with Servant, I would not have been able to chain Endymion. What would be the point of that if I couldn't chain Endymion to negate the original Sinful? See, he did have a call by the grave. So your whole plan about me sending a uh, freaking Jackal King to the grave with Servant and then reborn him? would have gotten fingered. Again, that's why I tend to, you know, reborn from the hand rather than the grave of Selene if I have that option. But now he has all of his stupid snake eyes plays. And he can probably still OTK, even though all of my monster zones are full. Flame Bird is probably going to push one of my Jackal Kings into the back row as well. Then he can Unicorn, IP Mask, or SP Little Knight. But if he SPs, he can't attack directly. There's still a lot he can do to break my board. Yep. Stupid Fire King, Snake Eyes line. And the thing is, I don't even think he's locked into fire either. He can still probably do the whole Promethean Zelantis combo. Yeah.
yeah, Zulantis is definitely the biggest problem. And then here comes Promethean Princess, as usual. Promethean Princess, or IP. Hold on, we got a bot. Let's ban this bot. Yeah, Promethean Princess, Reborn Flame Burge to push one of my monsters into the back row. So if he... I think he's more than likely going to go for my Jack... Wait, no, going for... Not going for Flame Burge? Really? Why is it not summoning Flame Burge? Unless he's trying to, like, goddess my field or something. Ambla Whale, and I'm guessing this is Zelantis. I'm saying, like, he can get Zelantis now, right? That's, but here's the thing. Yeah, I, I know what I'm talking about. He's going to Zelantis, reborn, Promethean Pop, freaking Sunlight Wolf, and my, and like one of my monsters. I know what I'm talking about. It's literally the standard Snake Eyes Fire King combo. You think I haven't seen this shit like 50 fucking times? He can pop one with freaking Promethean Princess, and he can pop two with Zelantis. Like, I know exactly what he's gonna do. It's fucking basic as fuck. Because he wants to pop it. Now I'm gonna be left with one card on my turn. Because he can pop two when he goes to battle phase. They don't know how this works. And the problem is I need one activatable spell. Otherwise, I either need to draw into a high scale or draw an activatable spell. Otherwise, I got nothing. Citadel, I guess that works. And before I get ashed. Yeah, for what it's worth, I guess. But here's the thing, Zelantis can pop two at anything. During the battle phase, Zelantis can pop two. Watch him have Ash in his hand now. But there's literally nothing I can do in this situation. There's absolutely nothing I can do here. That'll help me out. Even if I grab a high skill, Zelantis can just pop me during the battle phase. Like, I can Pendulum Summon, and then what? I have no fucking place whatsoever. Like, grabbing a Baby Jackal, I could summon a Jackal King, perhaps, but then I don't have any spell counters. Like, I legit don't have anything I can do here, for the most part.
Well, maybe, actually. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Yep, he has Ash. Yeah, he has fucking Ash. Of course he does. They always do, whenever I have, like, some form of follow-up. They have the Ash. God, it's such a stupid fucking deck. Again, he only won that duel because of Max C. Which is why I'm praying to God that it gets hit in Master Duel as well. What the fuck is this? Is it really, is it really saying cope if it actually got hit in the OCG? Is it really cope at this point? OCG has left Maxi untouched for the longest. Pretty much, OCG has left Maxi untouched since its release. The fact that they're hitting it now means they're finally willing to do something about it. Yep, that's what it looks like. And here comes Gigantic, I'm guessing. You know what would be funny? If I had Nibiru, I could probably just Nibiru him right now and he'd probably have no plays. I'm just gonna summon. All right, blue, probably grab a red or carrot. No, a jet. That's literally what Sprite has been doing. Sprite's been doing that. Why do you think Totally Awesome got banned? Because of Sprite. They're not used with they're not used with toads and frogs because Sprite already got them hit. So they can't use them. Literally Sprite is the whole reason Totally Awesome got banned and they started hitting all the other frog cards. Yep, high P Mascarina to go into SD. Totally awesome is an Omni Negate. It's an Omni Negate that can like continuously recur itself. Oh my god, and I gotta deal with Melfi's as well. Yeah. Okay, this ain't so bad, I guess. He can't reborn a rank or link two from the grave yet. I want to try scouting for Ash first. I'm going to scout for Ash. And I think I know how I'm going to do it. Fuck it, we're going in. Let's see what we can do here. We're going second, we're going to try to go in. He can reborn a monster, like a level two, but he can't reborn a Link two yet. We're gonna use this to scout for Ash and see if we can uh, grab a servant. Hey, Shadow.
Well, and I don't know, honestly. I think out of all the times that I've, uh, I honestly think that I've only won the coin toss like two times on stream since I started streaming today. I've legit only won the coin toss twice. Maybe three times. Three times max. I have not won the coin toss more than three times the entire freaking stream. Yeah, I'm only running I'm only running two Cerberus. SP gonna banish my baby jackal. Now I gotta hope he doesn't have an Ash Blossom. That's fine. It would have been nice because it would have been my way to scout for Ash. But I think now, I think I have to use Spell Power Mastery. Because if he does have Ash, I'm stuck with no plays. Like, I have to check for Ash. In which case, I can just use one to search for another baby jackal. Alright, he doesn't negate that. I'm st he has a response, but I'm, I'm trying to play around freaking... Uh, I'm trying to play around a potential Ash Blossom. Because he was so adamant on banishing my baby jackal, I want to see something here. I'm trying to see something. I know he still has SP Little Knight to trigger. I run Citadel and the pot. Plus I'm under Max C as well. What does he what does he have? He still has He already used Elf. What could he have now? Because he already max seed me. And then, of course, I still gotta worry about the Melfi stuff. The Melfi stuff is annoying. I could add, uh... I could add freaking, uh, Basilisk here with my other one. And try to get another draw. But I want to try to get a Jackal King out. First. That's what I'm going to try to do. I need this to resolve. That's the thing. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll go for the Endymion pop now. And the thing is, unfortunately, the thing is I'm under max C. I can only pop... And the thing is, I can only pop three. So I'm definitely going to pop the Melfi. Can I Pendulum Summon? Yeah. I think I'll just go for Endymion here. I have three pops. Technically, I only have three if I still want to use this Jackal King. If I still want to use this Jackal King, I only have three. In which case, I would probably go for SP, Melfi, and, uh, and this thing. I'm trying to think, though. Is it worth it to know to just try to scale Servant and then Pendulum Summon? I think so. I think this is what I have to play. I just go for Servant, grab a high scale, after I pen after I use Endymion. SP was made with Mascarina, true. Because that would still only give me three pops. 
that would only give me three pops. But he can't target my Endymion anyways, so... It doesn't matter. Endymion doesn't target. It doesn't matter that SP is under the Elf. So I'm going to go for the Elf. I'm going to go for everything but the SP then, in this case. I have to go for everything but the SP. And then I guess I got to grab a high skill, summon Jackal King, and then pass. Because I'm under max C. So yeah, I'm just going to Pendulum Summon this Jackal King and pass. Or attack, then pass. I mean, if I had another use out of uh, Institution, then sure. Only one monster negate and spell trap negate against Sprite is not that good, to be honest. 